Hello friends, in this video we are going to see the additional types of drags and their explanation. So let's move on to video. We will start with other types, say for example, first type as deformation drag. As this name indicates, deformation is nothing but the reduction in the size. So, due to viscosity of fluid, deformation of fluid particles occur. So, additional resistance offered by fluid on account of deformation is called deformation drag. This is nothing but the component of force in the direction of motion. Next type of drag is wave drag. We generally seen a flag, say for example, this is the flag, and this is having to and fro direction at the trailing edge. So, this is nothing but the wave action due to which additional drag is in this direction is applied on the system. So, wave drag is the structure member like vertical vertical structures like pile piers piers are nothing but the supporting structure to the bridges so see if this is the bridge like this then this structure supporting structure is called as pier so this pier at higher elevations are considered for wave drag wave action so forces due to wave action are considered in this drag these are partly due to steady state and partly due to unsteady that is acceleration state so this is the sum of steady state and accelerated state drag third type that we want to consider is induced drag we all know that if this is the aerofoil then this is the drag force and this is the lift force if this is the velocity of flow u so lift force is perpendicular to direction u it can be converted into two components the component of lift force in the direction parallel to u is called induced drag so drag force induced drag can be calculated as cl into rho v square upon now we will consider types of bodies on which forces are considered so first type is streamline body this is the 
shape called a streamlined shape in which this dotted line it is nothing but the boundary layer as we have very less chances of wake formation or zero chances of wake formation at the trailing edge so this is the formed wakes these are the formed wakes when flow is considered in the direction like this this starting point that is called as stagnation point this is nothing but the s is nothing but the stagnation point so streamlined body can be defined as the body whose shape coincides with streamlines streamlines are the lines of flow of a fluid when body is placed in fluid so its example is submarine bomb shells which are used in submarine are called as torpedo so it is having streamlined shape spaceship we all know aeroplane these are the examples now let us start with second type that is bluff body we can define bluff body as the body whose shape does not coincide with streamlines we can consider for example purpose a disk which is placed perpendicular to the direction of flow then in that case we will have types of streamlines one is having changed the direction surrounding to the disk and one is exactly perpendicular in which stagnation point s will get generated and the gap which was formed is low pressure zone so in this zone waves will get generated wakes will get generated so these are the directions of wakes in case of that circular disk if we talk about sphere or cylinder then we will have mixed type of phenomenon that is stagnation point s at location highlighted in the figure and it is slightly extended towards its trailing edge like this and these are the fluid lines streamlines the streamline which is exactly perpendicular or a tangent is having stagnation point and a boundary layer surface will get formed which is shown in the dotted line in the figure so bluff body can be old car truck advertising board these are nothing but the perfectly flat surfaces exposed to the air velocities tall buildings etc that's all thank you